please welcome Ross Noble. Here he is. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Lovely to be here. We, we just need to talk about something that happened just before the microphones were opened. <laughs> you see, I wasn't going to mention it. Ross has grabbed the earphones and said, wow, they even tell you which ear to put it on you know, with the L. Mm. And Bill goes, really? How long has I been on He's there? never noticed that before. <laughs> i never noticed have, have you literally been listening to Do you think whenever he speaks, he's coming? He's behind you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he does, it shocks me because he doesn't yeah. speak. Yeah. I know he comes from there, but when Rabsy... Yeah. How yeah, are you, Roscoe? I'm, I'm very well, thanks. I'm, I'm glad I've could brought a bit of... Because I came and I, I thought it was me being a bit too professional no, there because no, I looked at it and went, oh, I've yeah. got left and right. Left and I right. want to make sure yeah. I'm on the right That's thing. It. And you looked at the headphones like you'd never seen <laughs> headphones before. No, I had, but I didn't yeah. know they had headphones. L for a left and R for yeah. right. Yeah, just like Bill, welly yeah. boots. Have you, when you got your gun boots, do you have the left and right on <laughs> yeah. them as well? No, I know. You, you, the, the way they look. Yeah. The fact <laughs> and you get, got the little and, and L. I, look, I don't know anything about golf. I'll be perfectly mm. honest. Is that you're wearing a, a golf? Is yes. It, is that, that's a golf visor. It is. It is, <laughs> it is <laughs> Roscoe. And they're very old school visors. There's a bloke yeah. called Ian Poulter from your country. Right. He's about the only professional golfer that actually wears a visor. Right, okay. So I'm going back. It's a bit retro. Yeah, I retro. like it because I, I was looking through the glass before I came in and I, it was like looking at, you know, like a 19, like sort of 1930 speakeasy. You yeah, know, where that's they, it. Where they would wear the, yes. those sort of like you were running that. That's but, it. Uh, that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. I like the yeah. I like the retro style. I'm yes. taking it back. Yeah, it does look good. Taylor made one, by the way. Are you an Aussie or a Pom? Oh, good Lord. That's a, that was very accusatory. Yeah, what <laughs> accusatory? I didn't, I didn't know that, I didn't know that, I didn't know that you, that you had a customs official <laughs> yeah. working in the studio. Well, good Lord, is this a, just one big well, trick? I know, no, no, I know you're a pom, <laughs> but you've been here for a while now. And I've look, I, uh, I'm married an Australian and uh, I live here now. And I have, uh, should we talk visa status? Um, I ha I'm, a, I'm a resident. I do not have an Australian passport. But I want one, I'm desperate for one, and as soon as I'm eligible, I will become an Australian and I will ple I will pledge my allegiance to, to meat pies. Good. <laughs> because you're married to an Aussie. Yes. Yes. No, Ross just said that. I know. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. part of my question. Right, okay. Yes. Like um so uh what's it like? Give give him a chance. He's got headphones on the wrong way around. <laughs> he what's heard it the like to be he married? heard this one. <laughs> 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 <He's, laughs> Oh, he's old, Jim. <laughs> He'll start the show in a minute. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. What's what, it yes, like I'm to be married to an Aussie? What's it like to be married yeah. to an Aussie? Being well, a pom. I mean, you know, they're all different. That's what I found about the Australians. <laughs> there, there's no one size fits all, you know. <laughs> My wife is very lovely, which yeah. is definitely why I married her. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's good. I can't speak for other Australian wives. <laughs> right. But uh, if they ever do a reality TV show, you know, like Married at First Sight. Yes. If, it's, if they do some sort of, uh, I don't know, like Celebrity Mormon, yeah. where you get to... <laughs> Sample a selection of wives. Right. Let me ever tell you, uh, my right. wife's lovely. Yeah, uh, friend. I, I was yes. <laughs> oh my god! I'm a, you've got the, I'm, you've I'm got, on, following done, on Instagram. I'm not sure whether you're <laughs> <laughs> sure that you've done research or stalking. Two girls. Two girls. He's, he's out in the. He's out in the garden again. Yeah. His headphones on. <laughs> 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 Look peeking over your fence. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, she's great. I, I was, uh, I was instantly dropped with it when I first came to this country. I was just. Uh, I was just drawn by how straightforward and, you know, you know, just my wife's very blunt, yeah, put it that way. Yeah. You know, Good. she's, uh, you know where you stand. Exactly. In fact, our wedding vows, she went, I'll always you love you, uh, you know, even when you're a bit fat. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, that gives you an idea. That's good for us Aussies yeah. that are a bit fat, isn't it, Raps? Yeah. But I actually, <laughs> Ross, I love that about Australian girls. Mine is very similar, very, very blunt. And I, for, um, how am I going to put this for? Oh, this for, would be good. Uh, for divorce reasons, had to sell a house. Right. Okay. Anyway, so we had to go in there first before it was sold and clear everything up and get everything out and get it ready for the new owner. Yes. And then w went to a shop afterwards and there were some really nice towels at this shop. And I looked at them and I said, yeah, they're nice towels. And my partner, Lisa, went, yeah, they'd go well in a house. Shame you don't own one. one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Brilliant. This is yeah. the next day that's after I've had to evacuate. But that's what you're talking about. That's yeah. what I love about yeah. them. Yeah, well, you know, speaking of the, because uh, I get, you know, I, I slim down sometimes. Sometimes I'm a larger no. man. Do you fuck away to me? I do, yeah. And my wife actually said to me, I don't know if I, I'll, I'll, I, there might be kids in the car. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk around. She said, uh, do you know what my ultimate fantasy is? 
Mm. I said, oh, good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> I said, good Lord. Good Lord, Vicar. <laughs> and I said, she said, I, I'd quite like to make some, I'd quite like to make love to somebody who isn't fat. <laughs> 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 and that's, you know what I mean? It was a nice way of putting it. Yeah. But it's the bluntness. Yeah. It's the, it's the, <laughs> I bluntness love it. That I, like. I absolutely love yeah, it. Exactly. Yes. Uh, we've got um, the on the go coming up oh. shortly. We'll get yes. to exactly Bit what's going on there. Bit of into that name, Jim. Ross Noble on the go. Well, you spend a lot of time on that, Roscoe. <laughs> on that <laughs> name. On the go. On the go. Do I, what have the other shows been called? They've been called things like uh, Randomist, Sonic Waffle. Uh, oh. There was one called uh, Humanoid. So you're all that, and then you go with On the Go. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just thought I'd mix it up a bit. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just thought it was. No, you know what? That's so, lazy. I was. I was... <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? I, I would sort of agree with you a little bit. <laughs> but somebody said to me, I was doing an interview, and somebody, you're always on the go, are you? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, my promoter rang up, what's the tour called? I went, On the Go. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a bit quick. Well, well, you, you we'll know, find that's... out what that's about next, <laughs> but the uh, tickets are at alist.com.au. We're more with Ross Noble after this. It's the Rush Hour, Triple M. Triple M's Rush Hour, JB and Bill, and we're joined by Ross Noble, who's performing at this year's Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Grab your tickets, alist.com.au. Yeah, on the go. Yeah. Now, the, are you a like mad it. motorbike rider? Is that still the case? That is the case, yes. So does it annoy you when you see a celebrity a motorbike wankers that right. clearly aren't actually <laughs> motorbike riders but think it's cool so they sort of half take it up? Well, to be honest with you, I, I'm sure if you asked, you know, hardcore professional motorcyclists they would probably call me a celebrity would they wanker, but no I've, I've yeah i raced bikes i did the uh you know i've done all sorts i did the scotch six day trial which i finished so you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm into it i had i'm talking uh, with an expert here so you can tell me but i had the great pleasure of going to the a place where the TT races are held. The Isle of Man. Isle of Man. You were, While they were oh, on. Wow. Ross, come on. I was 18, 17. I was over on. on a cricket tour. It was one of the great days. And that is the single stupidest thing I've ever seen anyone do. <laughs> Isn't it the best got thing ever? stone walls next to these roads and they're doing like 250 k. It's, it's not Stonehenge, is it? Stonehenge. No, no yeah. it's a you're totally different part of England. International <laughs> Druid Drag Isn't racing. that a waste of time? That's what you're Isn't saying. that a, the biggest waste of shit I've ever seen? What, Stonehenge? Stonehenge. <laughs> so, do you see what I'm working how, with? How do you do it? <laughs> We've gone from the TT races to suddenly we, talking about Stonehenge. We can, we can, we'll get back to the, we'll get back to the races, no problem at all. But yeah, Druid Drag Racing, every yeah. year on the solstice, they line up all the Druids. I've got no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Druids, Stonehenge. No, I've got no right, idea okay. what you just said. Right, you know Stonehenge? Yes. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, God, that place <laughs> this is amazing. You know what this is like for you every day? Is it like, it's like being in a nursing home? Exactly what it is. <laughs> Literally. Exactly what it is. I Which saw is... something the other day about Stonehenge. Right. Me and my mate, Dwayne Russell, went there once, down the Autobahn, doing 250k. It's in Germany. The Autobahn. Yeah, that's in another country. <laughs> well, we drove to, I don't I, know. I, I think you were at the wrong henge. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it no? These were flying Ver, then. No Ver, wonder we'll go past Ver everyone. Welcome to the Düsseldorf Hench. <laughs> no wonder we went past everyone. We thought it was the autobahn. Right. Anyway, <laughs> pulled up a handbrake here. Quickly yes. went into Stonehenge, Quickly. took photos. Yep. Mate, it's not, there's nothing there. It's just boring. It's a henge. <laughs> what do you mean there's nothing there? Did you get out in the wrong field? <laughs> Were you stood in a field <laughs> just going, somebody, there's a pile of bricks, and you're like, I thought it'd be bigger than this. Like that, spinal Exactly. Thing. A couple, of, like they were nice on top of each other, but Did you nothing. Get, as you get closer, they get bigger. You know, that's how perspective works. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you're watching from a distance going, it's tiny, look at it. <laughs> Biggest disappointment ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> What you're saying that Stonehenge, yeah. the greatest monolith in the history. Yeah, uh, in the history. no bloody monolith. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest disappointment, whatever. Ever. Oh my God. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Did you, uh, were you there for the solstice? Because the Druids, you know, the, the, the pagans. Oh, here we go. Got no... <laughs> what, what are the Druids? Like robots? <laughs> yes, yes ro oh robot God. Druids. Where are we going here? <laughs> this is incredible. Uh, Ross, I'm telling no, you. I'm loving it. I'll tell you yeah. what happens <laughs> regularly <laughs> when we're doing this show. This will, this will sum your now thoughts of Bill up. We will be talking about something. He'll turn around and look at the television yeah. screen and go, wow, what about that? <laughs> and it's radio. And it's literally, uh, it's just That's a 24-hour loop of That's Stonehenge. It. It. <laughs> People in their cars are like, I don't even know what he's talking about. Oh, he's about. on the phone. Oh, oh, what's he oh, doing on the phone? What a druid is. Oh, you're checking out a druid. Member of the learnt class among the ancient Celts. <laughs> Celts. Celts. Oh, Celts. Celts. Why isn't it spelt with yeah. a K then? Al Alka-Seltzer. 
Alka Kelta is brilliant. It's a Celtic, <laughs> it's a Celtic fizzy drink. Oh, my yeah, they, they, and they go to the Stonehenge every year. Well, I'm not sure what the link was between that and the Isle of Man. No, there was no too. link. There was, some was, there, no, or there was yes. no link. But <laughs> the, the Isle of Man, Isle of Man is in, it's incredible. Those it's like bloody oh, platforms oh, that they're stuck on the the co-driver or whatever. Yeah, or whatever you you know. Oh, oh you so, so you saw the uh, you, you, the the, um, the sidecar race. Sidecar right? races. Yeah, they yeah. literally. If you've never seen it before, so at the Isle of Man, they have a race. It's uh, 32 miles. It goes through the villages mm. and then it goes over the top of the mountain. No speed limit, and they're just like ten minutes before the you know ten minutes before the race starts. There's farmers driving around, <laughs> just using the roads, and then they shut it down. And these guys are flying through the villages, 180, 200 mi- miles an hour, and, and like Spider Man just hanging off the side of these things, getting the weight right for the corners. Yeah. Like, it is the maddest thing it's, I've ever it's, seen. There's a brilliant film called uh, Closer to the Edge. TT Closer to the Edge. Even if you have no interest in motorcycles, you should watch that. It's yeah. incredible. And you, and what's brilliant as well is you st- people stand in their front gardens yeah. and the bikes fly past <laughs> at like top yeah. speed. And there's one bit where there's a, <laughs> I, I I rode the course so that I borrowed a bike yeah. and I rode the course and uh, you're going across the mountain, no speed limit at all. And I was bombing across, pretending I was John McGinnis, right? Yeah. I was like flying around. <laughs> I was probably doing about 160 or something yeah, across the top bad. of the mountain. Yeah. And um, miles an hour, not, yeah, your, not, not your kilometers. Okay. Yeah. And I saw, I thought, there's something coming towards me. And I thought, it's a bit weird because they, they make the roads one way. Yeah. And I sort of look up, I got a bike lane over, I look up, I go, oh, there's something coming towards me. It wasn't coming towards me. What it was, it was somebody in a people carrier picking their kids up from school because the roads are still but you're allowed to go any speed you want and I was going so fast I thought this thing was coming towards me and I literally went (laughs) went past this family (laughs) and I have to say adrenaline was brown that day (laughs) it was uh, but no it's it's incredible and uh, what I did last time was I borrowed a motorbike uh, a dirt bike and then you go inside the track and you can ride all the you can ride all the little uh, country lanes yep. and pop out and then watch the bikes going past. It's And, and also, it's just an excuse for a massive fight. Piss up. No, the entire no. island goes. Strangely yep. enough, w- the last time I was there, I um, I did a gig. I was doing some shows at the same time, and my wife went, well, it's, uh, it's convenient. Mm. Isn't it? You've put some shows <laughs> in. Yeah. T- t- yeah. So that's why I'm here. I I'm here it. to uh, uh, basically to spruik the Isle of Man. Oh, <laughs> you know, well, it used to be a tax <laughs> haven as well, didn't it? You had multi-billionaires. Oh, still is now. It. It's like uh, yeah, I don't know, like like ten percent tax or yes. something. All the yeah, all the all the racers, they all live there. Uh, tell us about on the go. On the go uh, every night, Athenaeum Theatre. It is basically. Uh, it's basically what? exactly what we've... This conversation here <laughs> in stand-up form. <laughs> and I might even slip in a bit of Druid chat as druid, well. Druid, you know. The Druids. So, yeah, it's me just up. talking a lot of old nonsense exactly. for an hour. But, you know... No, no if, two sh- shows are the same. That's right, isn't it? You can, you can turn up and, you know what, you can literally sit at the side of the stage and I'll go, what's next? And you go, <laughs> Druids! <laughs> and we're off. There we go. So how, explain that, how that works, because yeah. it's obviously incredibly hard to do for the normal man. Do you have your first couple of minutes set and then it just takes its no, own I life? No, I go on there and I just start riffing to see where it goes, then find an idea and then that'll remind me of something and then I might do 10 minutes on a thing and then I'll go, ooh, that's a... I'll arrive at a thing and I think, oh, that, that'd be a good idea. I'll do that again tomorrow. <laughs> so I think, right, I'll go on. And I think, right, I'll do that. And then on my way to that, I forget and I go somewhere else. <laughs> so, <laughs> did lockdown, and you've had plenty of that to deal with, did yes. that help with material or did it sort of just go... Uh, well, it did once I got back onto stage. Yeah. It was good because, you know, there's a lot going on there. During the lockdown, you know, the, the trouble is there's a lot going on in my head and I like to talk. So, you know, the, the Amazon man... <laughs> took a, he took a bound in. You know what I mean? He'd wander up. I've got a, I've got a package for you. Forty-five minutes later, he's going well. I've, I've enjoyed the chat. Go. Be, you know what I mean? I was, I was, I was dreaming of Jehovah's Witnesses. Come on, lads, come and round. Not good if you want to try and lose weight, so you probably put on a bit. And the missus wouldn't have been happy with that, Roscoe. No, no she wasn't. No. You, are you speaking from personal experience? Yeah. <laughs> No. He's, he's been hanging around she, in my garden. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> he's trying it on with the wife. She, she, no mirrors heard. in his house, clearly. <laughs> no, well, that's what happens during COVID. We you all found put on that? weight. Yeah, yeah right. it's hard. You try and lose it, but it's bloody hard, isn't it? 
Yeah. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nobes. Look at Nobes. Turn it, turn it to me. Oh, my God. On the go, alist.com.au, Athenaeum Theatre until Friday oh, yeah. the 22nd of April. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ross Noble, Rush Hour, Triple M.